All right, YouTube. Got a, well, I'm pretty excited for the video. I'm not gonna lie about that. So I got a little bit of a video today. And what I've done is I had a friend at church that had a trailer. And so we bought a gooseneck. And I was gonna tell you a little bit about it. So it's, it's 24 feet long. So it's 20 feet flat with a four foot, I guess you would call it dovetail, four foot dovetail on here. And of course the ramps. Now we got some things we got to do to it. So I've got the lights working good enough where they're running and the brakes are working, but I got to rewire this lights. This trailer is a 2005 model. Here's the original sticker right here, which it is so faded you really can't even see it. So I got this made, I think it was off of eBay, and you just I took this information and sent it to them and they put it on this nice metal sticker. So it's a 2005 Mainline Incorporated. I've never heard of Mainline. Um, but it says it's 7,000 pound an axle, so 14,000 pound. And so I think that will haul the 140. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know uh, brother Pat with YouTube channel uh, around the shop and if you hadn't please check him out he uh, invited me up to his shop in West Virginia and we're going to redo the lights and we're going to work on some brakes so if you know show that show him your appreciation and go to his channel around the shop and I'll see if I can put a link to it in this video and subscribe he's a great guy he came to plow day he's uh he's the guy that had the the big trailer with the two tractors um, and his daughters actually plowed some that day too. So we're going to do that. We got to, I got to get some tires for it guys. I, uh, I looked at the date code on these tires and the date code come out to be the 51st week of 2003. So the tires are actually older than the trailer itself because the trailer says it's a 2005. So once we get the tires, the lights and the brakes, I think we'll have us a pretty good unit. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It's not quite dry enough just yet for me to plow. I, I, I do got a little plowing I need to do, but luckily it's on some pretty sandy soil. So, I mean, it's not going, uh, if I had to plow it in March or even the first of April or even a week before I plant it in corn, I think it'd be okay. It's pretty sandy. It's, it's not going to be that bad, but we got that. And I was just putting a little bit of, preservative I pressure washed this deck had a lot of moss on it where it'd been sitting and so we're just putting a little bit of wood preservative on it and hopefully uh that'll keep that deck pretty good for a couple more years but yeah just excited to have a trailer um my hope is that uh farm all 51 is having a well it's it's not him personally I don't think it's his farm all chapter I think it's chapter 34, 37, anyway, it's out of Raleigh, East North Carolina, and they're having a plow day in uh, March, I believe, and I'm hopeful to get this thing going enough to go to it. Um, I'll let you guys know, of course, if I do, I'll video it and what have you. But thank you for subscribing and watching, and we'll bring you along to West Virginia when we go to Brother Pat's to do the lights. I'm looking real forward to that. And like I said, check out his channel around the shop, Let's get him up over a thousand subscribers and uh, great guy, just super nice guy. And uh, thank you. God bless you. We'll see you.